Jeez. 67 this afternoon, but we've already dropped more than 20. This map really tells the story of what we're feeling. We're feeling the cold air move back in right now in Indianapolis. We're down from that high of 67 to 45 degrees. We're already in the 30s in Lafayette and Kokomo. Lafayette 37, Kokomo 39. Oh, hanging on to the 50s. You might have another warm half hour, 45 minutes or so if you are east and southeast of the front. Uh, that's you, Richmond at 56, Columbus at 55 and we have 56 degrees in Bedford. The colder air will continue to move our way. Not a lot to show you on live Doppler 13 radar, but if you were with us last night, we talked about the heavy rain that we picked up across the northern part of our area. Might have had an alert on your phone if you live in this area or have seen it on the TV this afternoon and this evening. We do have some flood warnings for creeks and rivers across the northern part of our viewing area, including Tippecanoe County and the Wabash. So if you live near one of those, yes, those rivers levels are high and will continue to be over the next couple of days. We're back out live to Victory Field where we have some clouds and some sunshine at this hour. 45, a west wind at 21. It's been a very windy afternoon. At times those winds have been gusting over 30 and that's still the case in Kokomo and in Lafayette. Currently in Indianapolis we have a wind gust of 29. It will be breezy enough for wind chills tomorrow morning in the teens. You will need that heavy coat start to finish tomorrow. Actual air temperatures will be in the mid 20s, forecasting 25 in Muncie, 25 out the door Friday in Richmond and 26 degrees in Bloomington. From there, we do warm up, but it's going to be a slow warm up. Headed to school early tomorrow morning. Grab that heavy coat. You'll need it most of the day. High temperatures only close to 40. This time tomorrow night, we're going to be tracking a weak weather system that that will bring a light wintry mix to the area late tomorrow night, early Saturday morning. That this is 1 a.m. I'm going to stop it at 4 a.m. This will mainly impact the southern half of the state. Even if we get a couple of slick roads early Saturday, won't last long. We're to 43 at lunchtime on Saturday and forecasting highs close to 50. Forecasting another big weather system to move across the country brings a severe threat to the central plain states on Sunday and then starts to move our way on Monday. We have rain, storms, and wind in that Monday forecast, but we're back into the low 60s. It will be cooler tomorrow. You'll need that heavy coat 40, 49 after that light wintry mix on Saturday. We're at 56, sunny and breezy on Sunday. Rain, wind, and storms to kick off next work week. Monday's high 60. Angela, thanks.